Hey guys, 22 Plinkster here. <laughs> I've got something extremely different to show you guys today. This is the SMG 22 made by Air Ordnance. They were nice enough to send it to me to do a video with. But before we go over the features, let me show you what it can do. <laughs> That's right, it's full auto. I still have that silly full auto smile on my face. I love anything full auto, I think it's fun. But the cool thing about full auto air rifles is that they're not, you know, regulated by the ATF. You know, pretty much anyone can own one. There's not a wait period, there's not a special stamp that you have to get. You can pretty much get this bad boy shipped to your door. Now, some of the cool features on this Air Ordnance SMG22 is, I guess the first thing that we need to go over is the pink elephant in the room. This thing, all right, it looks different. I'm not gonna lie to you. It looks like a spear gun, you know, the spear gun that they, uh, <laughs> you know, like the divers use in the ocean. It looks like a spear gun and a Tommy gun had a baby and this is what it came out to look like. <laughs> but it is a pretty cool little, um, you know, pellet rifle. It does chuck a 22 caliber pellet out at, at about 600 feet per second. It does come with some uh, 100 round link belts that we will get to later on in the video when we start mowing things down. But it does come with a 100 round link belt where you can either hold it by hand, say hello to my little friend, or you can place it in this drum magazine. The cool thing about the drum magazine is the belt feeds back into the drum so you don't have to worry uh, so much about putting tension on the belt. You can shoot it one pellet at a time, but you gotta be pretty quick on the trigger. Let me go across the creek, see if I can hit anything. Let's go a little bit closer. I don't know where I'm going. There we go. <laughs> All right, I'm out. So you can shoot one pellet at a time if you want to. The harder you press the trigger, the faster rate the pellets will come out. And this thing, if tuned correctly, it will fire up to 700 pellets per minute. That's around 10 to 12 pellets per second. Now you can regulate the air by this little screw right here on the side, and I'll get a close up of it. And you can regulate it to go faster, to go slower, However, the rate of fire that you would like to increase or decrease. Like I said, there are several different kits that you can buy. I will put a link in the bottom of this video if you're interested in one of these kits. Some of them come with the drum magazine. Some come with this collapsible M4 style stock. Um, they all come with the sights, uh, front and rear sight. The rear sight is adjustable for your windage. It does come with a front grip here that is also adjustable like this so you can get a good forward purchase on it like a tommy gun and it's just pretty fun little uh, setup to shoot now the tank here there are several different ways that you can run these air rifles uh, this one right here came with a 3000 psi tank and you can roughly get about 200 to 300 shots off a one fill up of a 3000 psi tank the drum mag comes right off okay and inside of the drum mag is your 100 round link all right now they do sell a semi speed loader for this setup but i do have to warn you it is a little time consuming but if you have two people one dropping the pellets in there and another one pressing the pellets down it will go pretty quick i can load a hundred round uh you know 100 round belt and I guess with two people in about three minutes. So I advise you, if you're gonna go out and you're gonna do a lot of shooting and you have a lot of friends over and you wanna show off this bad boy, is get four or five of these, um, these belts here. Go ahead and already have them preloaded before you go to the range and you'll have a lot of fun. But the drum magazine comes off pretty quick. I like the drum magazine uh, because it is just very, very easy to, to load. You just fold the belt back and forth, left and right and you don't have to worry about so much with the pressure. Sometimes when you're holding it, the belt by hand, you can put too much pressure on it and it will not allow it to cycle. Now, how you load it is there's this little bitty tab right here. You simply flip it up. I'm gonna set this drum mag down. 
and you pretty much just lo lay your belt across across here and just for the sake of the video i'll just put it right there and you snap it down so it's very very easy to load now this does not have any pellets in it but you know you can see that it feeds it pretty pretty quick like i said before the harder you press this trigger the faster the pellets will come out now let's go to the other range and mow some stuff down i've got some balloons stapled to a board down here let me see if i can take them all out Oh, oh, I'm out. There was one left. Next up, I put five pounds of flour in a clear Ziploc bag. I'm gonna empty a hundred pellets into it. So here we go. <laughs> I think I got it. I've got over one pound of cheese balls in that container. Let's see what a hundred pellets will do to it. <laughs> Not very much, but I got something for him. All right, for the last shot, let's finish off a case of sodas. <laughs> Boy, that is fun. My final thoughts on the Air Ordnance SMG-22. Now I have enjoyed shooting this air gun for the past couple weeks that I've had it. Now I failed to mention, inside of here there is a gear, a drum gear that turns. The harder you press the trigger, the faster that gear turns. Now that's how actually the belt is fed through this drum and to the other side. But for the most part, this thing, I guarantee you when people come over will be a conversation piece. They're gonna say, hey man, you got a belt fed? And I'm gonna be like, yeah, I got a belt fed. Guys, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below, go to my Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter page and ask them there. And until next time, y'all be safe and keep leaking.